What's going on, everybody? It's Bulver King here, back with some more NASCAR Drift to Daytona. Unfortunately, last time we got our, what I think is going to be our worst finish in our career, finishing 19th in a Dirt Series race. It wasn't my worst track. I went for a nice, uh, nice Carl Edwards move, trying to get into the, trying to get into the A main, but it failed. It failed epically, and then the one dude just spun us out. So we got a grudge against him now. Um... But this is a modified race, so we don't need to worry about that. And hey, New Hampshire, this is actually, it's two NASCAR tracks in a row. Another track that's good that we got that engine. Because this is probably the fastest track on their circuit. I don't know, there's that one track that's really big. But this is usually a track you'd have to play, play into the draft. But in this game, I don't think they, uh, I don't think they even incorporate the draft in this series whatsoever, so don't need to worry about that too much. And the infield looks really weird here. I mean, I guess back in 2002 or 2001 when this game was made, like, maybe there was just nothing in the infield, but like, there doesn't even look like there's hardly garages in there. Well, I guess there's some there. Ah, my nose is starting to run. Why? First, first in the first part I started to record, it was my eyes water. Now it's my nose running. Maybe there's just something in the air. Alright, let's try to get two good practice laps going. God, I seem to have given this track a lot of banking. It seems way more banked than, like, than it looks in real life, but... Of course, I've never been there in real life, so how should I know? I've only seen it on TV. Started to push a little bit, come off the corner. Probably got in the gas a little bit too soon. Actually, one more lap here. Driving it to the corner a little. Oh, that was a little too hard. There goes way faster, dude. I'm into the wall. Ooh, yeah, I got him, uh, I guess way too soon there. Let's just see how bad the slap is, and then we'll, uh, we'll try to qualify. Not that much worse, honestly. That means I would have had a pretty good lap time, actually. <laughs> okay. So we could probably get, like, a 33 flat. So let's see what we can do in qualifying. Which is at least good enough to not be last, so that's always good. I do, so it's kind of weird. My dad hates this track for whatever reason, but I like it. I think it's okay. Some of the races are good, sometimes they're bad. But, I don't know, the, the racing can be good. It's just it definitely is hard to pass at this track. I mean, even in NASCAR games, it's hard to pass. These corners are so, like, long and sweeping that, like, you could really pinch a guy down, and he can't really get off the corner that well, and that's pretty much what this track is all about. It's a big Martinsville to where there's essentially two drag strips between uh, between two corners. Ooh, I don't really like this slap. I was able to keep my speed up okay. Kind of a higher line than I wanted to go though. Let's see where that puts us. I feel like it was a decent lap. Alright, let's see where we play. 23.1, like I said, low 23, so I thought maybe 23 flat, but I don't think I got through 1 and 2 that good. Let's see where that puts us. Remember now, we gotta finish 12th or better in these races. Ooh, 13th. But I definitely think, ah, that's actually, that's a pretty big gap. That's about almost 3 tenths of a second between me and Kat. Kanazawa. I almost said Kazanawa. That would have been a little bit different, but yeah. Kanazawa. Mark. And no need for happy hour. I'm already happy. Hello, I'm Alex. Let's just go try to get a top 12 finish here. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I'm going in the middle. 
All right, good. They're gonna get a good enough jump of me. That way I'm not in the middle of going to the corner. Ooh, wow. I drove it in way too hard there. And there's cars all around me. Oh, run on the outside, dude. Haha. Ooh, wow. We're, we're in some tight racing back here. And there's a clear gap, it looks like, between 13th and 14th. See if we can pull away from these guys. And we gotta pass two cars to get to 12. So that's our mission in these. God, these races are so short. I'm only gonna, I'm gonna have like five laps. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna disappoint our brand new sponsor. middle line actually seems pretty good. I feel like I can keep my momentum up. Three and four I can get the bottom. One and two I just I can't seem to get down there for some reason. Hey we're down in the 32 second bracket so that's good. There we go. Now we got the low line going. But it looks like that's only going to be good enough to get us comf a comfortable fourth, 14th place finish. It looks like they're going a little too fast up there for me to be able to catch them. Ooh, let's not hit the apron there. That would have been a really good corner if I didn't have to let off because I was afraid of the apron. Yeah, even then, it was still my best lap. Like slowing down in the inside there? What is he doing? What's that speck of pixels doing down there? I do not want to hit the apron here because I know I did one of like the beat the heat trial things and it's death. It is absolute death. Here to go. Man, what is up with me getting like within one one thousandth of my lap times? I swear this is like the third or fourth time in this series I've done that. It means I'm consistent. Which is good. It's always good to be a consistent race car driver. So it usually means you're not not giving up any unnecessary time. Alright, white flag. Kind of a boring white race, flag. honestly. I mean, the first part was kind of cool. Battling those guys, being on the outside. And whoa, I did not arc my way into the corner that well that time. But pretty good racing in the beginning, but we were clearly faster than the guys behind us, but clearly not as fast as the people in front of us, so we just kind of sat here. Which is weird, because usually in the real life, like, we're always packed together. Which I'm sure if, it, if this series is going to become, like, the Dirt Series once we, like, win a championship at some point. Like, if it's going to be super ultra competitive, maybe we will be, like, more pack, race, pack racing, which would be cool. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, so 14th, making improvements, which is always good, but we really, really needed to finish 12th, but they were, they were just too fast for us, honestly, that was about as good as I could go. Uh, let's see how much money we got, though. Honestly, I should check after this, too, how many races are left in this, se in this uh, season. So 3100 bucks. Not bad. I'll take that after the like nothing that I got from the uh, the weekly dirt series. So still 18th in points, which sucks. But we did we got got six points out of semen, so that's that's always good. Kind of cutting down our uh, our deficit. On ditch, he he's a little too close for my comfort. He has a win. What the heck? 
Okay, so let's see here. So it's August. So there is one, two, so four races. Hmm. I'm, well, that kind of sucks. That means I'm probably. I'm going to have to make that uh, the last, the next part a triple header. So, okay. So we got we got one race to do here. Actually, I'm going to double check to make sure. Yeah, we got one race to do here. Another modified race at Welch Valley. Felt like we've... Oh, that's the the uh, the road course. What did we finish here last time? I think that was 17th. Felt like we had a pretty good finish, honestly. So hopefully with this new engine, we can finish a little bit better. I do, I do like this road course. It's nice. It's wide. It's kind of forgiving, except for that one corner. So, oh, I like that angle, too. That was a cool angle. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez. This actually kind of looks like where I live. Now I live out in the boonies. I see farms with silos and just rows of freaking corn and stuff. But whatever. I'll be moving pretty soon back to where, essentially where I used to live. Alright, 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 alright. Come on. Let's just get around this track. Of course, this lap doesn't count for anything, so that's good. Gotta get used to this. I sure we should have done a practice lap, but whatever. I'll get used to it. Right, yeah, this is the corner we gotta be careful of. You can swing way too far out there. And you might accidentally hit that wall, too. Ooh, I really should hit the brakes there. Whatever. Alright, so this is going to be the lap that actually counts. Uh, I'm going to the grass a little bit. I feel like I'm really hitting my marks all that well, but we'll see. We'll see what it does compared to my record lap. Ooh, I definitely tried to get on the gas a little too soon there. Hopefully, it makes it a little bit faster. You know, with my new engine, I have no excuse. Felt like I got off that corner pretty good, but I don't know if it's because I was way too slow in the middle of the corner. And I'm always getting on the gas just like a little bit too soon. Alright, let's see where that puts us. Oh wow, I did two seconds faster than my uh, my other lap time. Though it makes you wonder how much faster I could have gone if I was actually hitting my marks. Oh wow, ninth. Not bad at all for, for a boy who came from dirt track racing. All right, let's go to the race then. Hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll finish in that top 12 this race to get that extra sponsor money. You know, I wish, sometimes when I see the starting lineup, I wish I had the... Not even really technical prowess, because I'm sure I could do it, but I had the ambition to actually put like the Fox starting theme or the, like the starting grid uh, theme that they used to do. That song always goes through my head when uh, when I see this. All right, anyways, let's get going. Oh, are we starting on the outside? Even though we're starting night. That's weird. But anyways, here we go next to the Rainbow Warriors car. Try to cut in front of him. Oh, sorry, guy. 
Oh, and he saved it. Oh, but he got the other guy nervous. close. Oh, wow. What was that all about? You're not supposed to be able to hold grudges in this game. That was kind of weird. Probably just an AI glitch, but still. Purple guy, not happy with me. I mean, I didn't even hit him. I hit the other dude. Then he got mad at me because that made him screw up. Dang it, got into the wall there. Oh, swung too far out. Alright, let's just get into a rhythm here. This looks like I'm probably not fast enough to get to them, but I could get a top 10. If I just stop screwing up. I mean, I cannot nail... I think I'm... I think it's because I'm going faster than last time. Because I used to just be able to float it into a lot of these corners, but now I'm going so much faster that I actually do have to hit the brakes. It's like throwing me off. Even like through this corner, like on the first lap, like usually I can just hold it wide open through that corner easy, but the way I entered that corner made it like almost impossible. Like right there. Probably need to let off a little earlier and hit the brakes. There we go. That was a nice corner. Felt good at the very least. Ooh, that was that felt like a really good set of corners. Dang, they're already at the start finish line. At least leader is. It looks like, once again, I'm just going to settle in here. kind of sucks that we're kind of in this weird, like, purgatory here of not quite being fast enough to challenge guys in front, but also being faster than the dudes behind. But that felt like a pretty good lap here. Let's see what that's going to play at. Lap. Wait, what? That felt like an awesome lap. Yeah, not even close to my qualifying time. I wonder if because I have damage or something. see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got quite a bit of damage, actually. Some radiator damage. Oh, gonna get some more damage, it looks like, there. Wheels aren't perfect. Yeah. Same with these modifieds, is that they are, uh, they're touchy cars. You don't want to get too much damage on them. Don't want to beat and bang too much. Arrow is not good. Jeez. All right, let's just let's take it easy here and get a get a top ten. All right, there we go. Well, I guess we can see if they're catching up to me, which looks like they definitely are. But I got the corner way better than them. So let's just not screw up in this last corner. We got our first top 10 in the series. Yep, there we go. So, not a bad race overall. I mean, it's only three laps, but well, got a good finish. Out. Probably could have been faster. Might have been able to keep up with the other guys, but once I got damage on that car, it seemed like it didn't drive as fast for some reason. It felt fast, but it definitely, definitely wasn't as fast. But that does mean we get that fat sponsor money, so that is always good. Let's go take a look at that, see how much we got. God, the loading just takes so long in this game. There we go. Nice. Over $5,000. Not bad at all. Though, quite a bit of expensive aerodynamics, radiator, chassis. But luckily, the um, 
the damage setting bonus will take care of most of that, so that's always good. Boom. We're still in 18th place in the points? God, what do we need to do to make our way back up? Though we're probably pretty close to, uh, to Seaman. It always feels weird saying, it, saying his name. Yeah, we're catching up. We got a little bit more of a gap on Kanazawa, so that's always good. And yeah, Ondet, she he's doing really well in the races he run, but for whatever reason, he's way back here with us, even though he has a win. And man, Hemiseth and Bundy, they're they are dominating in this series. Ah, so hey, at least we got a lot of money there. Fish and chip. Ah, we could have even gotten more money, but we're not going to be finishing top 10 every single race. But looks like that's going to be it for this part. It actually is looking like the uh, the next part's going to have to be a triple header for the finale of Season 3. Unfortunately, we're not really in the championship hunt in either series for the most part. But hopefully in the last race of the uh, Dirt Series, we can have a good finish. Maybe it'd be a miracle, but hopefully pop up into like the top three in points. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but hey, it'd be cool. And then let's just finish out our first modified season. So hopefully you guys will join me for the uh, Season 3 finale. Hope to see you guys there.